What's up everybody, it's me bro and in the previous video we created this stylish inventory that you can't see because it is invisible inventory. <laughs> well actually I, I did a very poor job at styling it and probably you did a way better job at this than I did but since I'm a minimalist and since this is just a simple tutorial on uh, basically teaching you guys the fundamentals of this whole thing then I think this should be good enough for the visuals so in this video we are going to add our first pickable items since now we can open our inventory and technically our inventory system is working so I'm gonna start with going to my sys uh, inventory system I'm going to add a new folder I'm gonna call this items and inside of here I'm going to add a couple of items a carrot, a log, a stick and a stone. Hopefully we can get these all in in this video. So I'm gonna import all of these. Oh, and they are made in all in one folder. So I'm gonna, I'm going to adjust these a bit. So I'm finished with this. My meshes are all set up. And one more thing that I'm going to add is, well, actually I have a few icons over here already. So I'm going to select all of these and I might, well, actually I would go to my user interface. I'm gonna create a new folder called icons over here. And I'm gonna move all of my icons to that new folder so that they all would be in the same place. And I'm going to add a couple of more you can also find these in the description box. I will add a download link to these. So here we have our carrot, log, stick and stone. I'm gonna go back to my inventory system and I'm gonna create another folder called pickups, hiccups pickups. And I'm, I, I'm going to add a blueprint class which is going to be a static mesh actor class. And first one, let's begin with a pick up stone actually yeah let's start with a stone in the static mesh component I'm gonna change the static mesh to stone I'm gonna use my stone stones low poly stone number two this one I prefer this one as a pickable and I'm going to add a box collision to this I'm gonna make this slightly bigger uh, like 60 to 60 to 50 Yep, seems good, seems nice. And I'm going to add a couple of variables. Just like in our structure, I'm gonna make this name. Well, actually, actually we could, we could make this into a single function uh, variable. So I'm gonna call this item data and I'm gonna change the type to S inventory. So there we go. I'm gonna make this instance editable uh, yeah, instance editable only for now. If we need, then we will change this later on. And in these data default values, I'm going to give this a name of a stone. Uh, description will be just a stone. Type is going to be a stone again. A value, we're going to leave it at zero. And amount, I'm going to make this one. So I think that should be good for this for now. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my third person character and I'm going to add a new function and this is going to be add item. I'm going to give this a category and I'm going to make a new one inventory. inventory. There we go. And now in this function, we are going to add a new variable, which is going to be, I'm going to call this item data, which is going to be our S inventory structure. And let's make it really, really simple for now. We're going to drag from this. Well, actually, no, first we need to get our inventory and then we can drag and type add. Let's connect the execution pin and we can add our item data. So if we compile and save, we have our stone. Now I'm gonna go to this stone pickup actor. 
I'm gonna drop a few of them in this scene like this it's going to be good then I'm gonna open up this uh, stone go to the event graph I'm gonna delete all of these default nodes I'm gonna click on this box collision I'm gonna scroll down until I get to the events and here is an event on component begin overlap I'm gonna drag from other actor and cache to third person character and as third person character I'm gonna do a add item function like this and for this item data I'm gonna drag in this item data variable from our pickup stone so if we compile and save uh, oh and I also we need to destroy the actor once it's picked up so it looks like this we can press play and if we overlap this you can see that these act uh, stones disappear and if we press I we have our one two three four five six seven stones so and uh, now we should try to stack these so we can go back to our third person character add item event and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drag this back a little like so I'm gonna drag from this and I'm gonna break the result and we need a couple of more variables so I'm going to open up my S inventory structure and I'm gonna add a variable called is stackable compile and save and in this pickup stone I'm gonna select item data item data oh I need to compile I guess yeah there we go compile item data is stackable let's check this as true and in this third person character we are going to do a check if it is stackable if this is not stackable we are just going to add this like so but if this is stackable we need to search if we already have this item so I'm gonna add a new function I'm, I'm gonna call this search item I'm gonna add this to my inventory category and for inputs I'm gonna do a item data which needs to be this s inventory structure now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag in my inventory I'm gonna get this I'm going to do a loop for each with a break like so and I'm gonna break this item data result over here and I'm gonna drag from my RI element and break this as well and I'm going to check if the names are equal so equals twice to get this equal node I am assuming that name will be unique and I'm gonna do an if from my loop body so if we find an item that is that has the same name as the searchable item then once this is true we need to do a local variable so I'm gonna add a local variable which is did we find an item and if it's true I'm gonna set this to true and I could set this by default to be at false and if this is true then I'm gonna drag this to break I will make a reroute node like so like this there we go and on the complete I'm gonna do a if branch check to see if did we find an item and if we did find an item we can do a return node and on false we can also do a return node they're going to be a bit different and I'm gonna select the return node and I'm gonna place some outputs first one is going to be a return value which is going to be a boolean whether this is going to represent whether we found or did not find an item and the next one could be 
item index, which is going to be an integer. There we go, integer. And so if this is true, we're going to set this return value to true and item index we are going to get from our array index from this loop. So there we go. Let's compile and save. For now, that's going to be it. We're going to add more functionality to this later on. And in our add item, we are checking if this item is stackable. And if it is stackable, we are going to search for the item this item data. We're going to do a if from a return node. If we did not find the item, we can do the same as we do for if it's not stackable, we can just simply add a new uh, entry to this array of our inventory. But if we did find it, then we need to drag from our inventory and we can do set array element index we need to use our item index like so and for our item we need to break this or well, we need to make our s inventory like so and I'm gonna drag from this item data over here I'm gonna break this and I'm going to set the same name set the same description set the same type same value but for the amount well, we forgot one variable actually what well, we're gonna add also a is stackable for our search item we're gonna open up this function one more time and we are going to add another output which is going to be found amount also an integer and we are going to here we drag we break our ri element here we have our result and we're going to drag this amount result to found amount and then in this add item, we can found amount, amount, we can plus this integer plus integer. I'm going to do this the other way. I'm going to plus the item that we are picking up amount with the found amount. And we're going to connect this into our array elements amount like so. And I think that should be it. Now we can compile and save. And if we go to our game now, pick up our rocks, press I, here we go. We have five stones, pick up another one. We have six stones and another one. We have six stones. And in the next video, we are going to add more items and add some more functionality to our inventory system. So this is going to be it for this tutorial. See you guys in the next one. Bye.